presented by Sprint. Welcome back to our special presentation of the NBA for Monday for King Day. It's been a clinic out there by Monday. I know we've said this many times before, but I'll say it again. He had a great first half, just explosive offensive his player. At the end of the day, I wouldn't be surprised if we're talking about what a great second half he had. And you can keep it going for all four quarters. Soldier. It's in shot. The shot is good off the backboard. And the Celtics lead by 13. You know, he's really adept at keeping possessions alive by hitting the boards and cashing in on some of those putbacks. And we can't forget to mention his rebound. You watch him just keep an eye on the way he battles in the paint when the shot goes up. There's the bucket cook. And that's 13 points for Danny Green. Celtics leading by 11. Rondo takes the Missouri. Back to Rondo. Rondo fires from the wing. It's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Rondo's got assist number 8 here in this one already. Rondo gets Fogarol. Back to Rangers. He passes to West. The feet to Polaron. West defended by Salinger. They get it again. Hibbert hits the bucket. Hibbert's got seven points in the game. And they get three of those four shots here to start this half. That's it. And Indiana will go the other way with it. They host the Kings after this game, and that game closes out the four game home standpoint. Back to Hibbert. And the bucket count is on his way to the neutral line. Try to make it a two point play. Really from a size standpoint, that is a mismatch that's going to be hard to overcome. <laughs> This was a bit just two free throws and five attempts to well, solid numbers for this club uh, from the free throw line this season, shooting about 77% collectively. Hey guys, that says a lot about the poise of this team. I mean, they've been so calm, cool, and consistent at the strike this year. I mean, that's impressive. And the layup's good off the glass. And two's got his second best of the night. Well, there's no fear out of him, guys. I mean, going straight to the hoop against a much bigger defender. Oh, he's got a lot of heart. This is real by 11. George passes to Dover. This is a throwback. It's the lead pass. And the shooter free throws are clearly followed on that shot that time. The whistle blow. A moment here now to see how the numbers look for Rajon Rondo. First and assists. And defensively, he's been really good. He ranks in the top 20 of the league in steals. And you know, you threw his, his number one assist ranking out there, Steve. And what's really impressive is that not only is he creative, but he's a willing passer. The guy wants to give it up, and he really makes it easy for his teammates to score because he's so good at giving them the ball in an ideal position. And he can't hit the second. Finally a miss, but still four for five shooting to start this third quarter. There's the pick. And out of bounds is the Pacers game possession. And this is what the schedule looks like for the Boston Celtics. They host the Kings after this game. Here's 
Jesus and correct George, that's a screen for a last two. A shot in the world of this group. It's just not a moment. It's not a moment. It's not a moment. It's not a moment. Well, he came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, he got to fight over the top of that. Just like a three and a finish up here in the third quarter. He set the screen. Rondo tries him. And that is good. Rondo's got his second bucket with him to go. And he came off that screen, the defense just couldn't get over the top. Beautiful. Yep, and we got a hand in his face from Barry Dover. All around, it's just a draw. <laughs> he beats it to Ranger. That's the cold around. That's fine on the clock. My lose my post. You know what? I'm doing some nice deep. Celtics lead by 10. Thunder passes to Selinger. Feeds it to the two. And there's the pass to Thunder. And there are the Celtics with another basket. Is that the hotter man in the first half so far? No question. Yeah, it's because of all the high percentage shots they've been working for and getting. He wins Tolderon. And George, here we go. Here we go. Back to George. Goes up on the elbow. And lost it with the rebound. Cousins has got rebound number eight now for the night. Rondo with it. George picks him up. There's a good screen. And Batum picks to run. That's the point. He quieted. Offensive rebound. Selinger. Tough possession there. They stayed with it, but they just couldn't make it. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. That's not an opportunity he fails to convert very often. Basket to Holds up on the way. At the line by Boston. That's the bucket. Six points for Jared Sullinger. That rebound and the follow kind of typify what he's all about. Just a pretty determined play. The mark and the clock continues. More often than not, so those shots have not dropped for them. Rondo can't get it to go. He just has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys, but as a whole, it hasn't affected him too much. Calderon with it. Now defended by Thunder. That's good. Calderon's got a second bucket of the night. So it's three by 12. My cousins. Back to run. He passes to run. And so is he. And Paul won at that time. He'll get to the line and shoot too. It's going to be a big one. Well, Zalek shooting his seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And that one misses.